Boy, what's the thing? And I'm back up in this thing, man. Man, I'm feeling good right now, man. When y'all work for something and you know you put in all the hard work behind the scenes, you was grinding when ain't nobody saw you grinding and you achieved it, man. That's the best feeling in the world right there, man. If y'all got some dreams, go out and chase them, for real. Man, I wanna come your guys' way today with a video about how to fit wide wheels on your Camaro SS or any six gen Camaro, really. So if you guys don't know, I've got 11 inches in the back and 10 inches in the front. So I'm gonna get to how I was able to fit those on my car today. After that, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about what I've got planned for my car, things I got coming up. Today's probably gonna be a shorter style video today. I'm just getting one out there real quick. Like I said in my previous videos, I've been grinding with finals, man. So I've been busy as hell lately, but y'all know I gotta come through for you. So let's go ahead and get to these wheels. So how did I do it? How did I get 11 inches in the back and 10 inches in the front? This is one of the most common questions I get about my car is about my wheels, what size they are, what my fitment issues are, um, what's the offset, all of those types of things. So that's what we're gonna address in today's video. For you guys that don't know, I drive a 2017 Camaro SS 50th Anniversary Edition. Now I've put out videos on my wheels before, but it's been like two or three months since I had a video out and my subscribers in like the last two weeks have doubled. So I got new subscribers. I still get questions about my wheels. So today I'm gonna come at you guys with a video how I did it. Now, honestly, there's no secret. It doesn't really require any crazy modifications, actually zero modifications. Now, I have got wheels that come just like on the ZL1s and the 1LEs. The 1LEs and the ZL1s come from factory with 10 inches in the front, 11 inches in the rear. But my offset is slightly different on my wheels. Let me pull out my handy dandy card here so I can get the exact offset for you guys. So this is for any six gen Camaro. My front wheels there have an offset of 23. Now, this is slightly different than ZL1 and 1LEs. They come with an offset of 20 in the front. So what that does is it causes this front tire to poke out just a little bit more. I didn't really want mine to poke out. I like them tucked in. I like them flush with the body there. I think I think that's the best look. I don't really like front wheels that are popping outside of the fender. It's just it's not a good look to me. And another issue you run into when these front wheels are poking out like that, say you're hitting a turn or just driving down the road, you get rocks that are kicking up right here all the time. So I don't need any more rocks kicking up on my car. I mean, rock chips are an issue enough on their own already. Now in the rear, the offset is 43. That's identical to what's on the ZL1s and the 1LEs. And it doesn't require any modifications as long as you guys are buying the right tire size. The two biggest things to fitting these wider wheels on your car, you have got to make sure you have the correct offset for the front and the rear and the tire size. Now the tires in the rear are by far the biggest issue. If you guys are going to get tires, make sure you get 305, 30, 20. The 30, the 30 is the biggest issue. The 30 is how tall this sidewall actually is. If you get too tall of a side, if you get too tall of a sidewall, oh shit, look at the marrow, y'all, y'all see him? Damn, okay. Shook came through and said, what up? Dog, come holla at your boy. So back to what I was saying, the sidewall. That is the biggest thing with these cars. If you don't have the correct sidewall thickness, especially on the rear, that's where you're gonna run into problems. Now the rear tires are actually slightly shorter than what comes from factory. So with a shorter tire like I have, you start running into issues like the speedometer is going to be slightly off. Now, if you guys get a tune, a tune should correct the speed issue, but it's really not that bad. I went and I calculated it at 100, a mi at 100 miles an hour. I'm going to show that I'm running like 101 and a half. So 
every 100,000 miles, I think it comes out to, I have an extra 1,500 miles. So at 100,000 miles on my odometer, I'll actually have 101, 500. I'm not really tripping, not that big of an issue. I'll probably fix it somewhere down the road with a tune. Now you can correct this issue if you get the taller sidewall. But if you're gonna get the taller sidewall on these wheels, if I'm not mistaken, it's the passenger side, the speed sensor is inside of there. Now you will have to turn the speed sensor. I believe you can turn it inwards to move it out of the way. I've seen some people on the forums and stuff that have fit that taller tire, but I didn't really wanna run into any issues like that. At the time when I got my wheels, I'm still, actually I still am at this point. I'm going back and forth with the dealership trying to get a transmission transmission issue fixed. Would they hassle me about the speed sensor being moved? Probably not. Maybe if I replace my tires, I might try the taller tire just to see, maybe get a little bit of ride comfort, but it's not that big of a deal at all. One thing you will notice going to these size tires from stock is that the ride quality, it's sacrificed some. It's nothing bad. It still rides perfect on the freeway. You don't notice anything, but a little bit around town, like if there's bumps in the um, in the blacktop, I would just say you feel it a little bit more. It's not so much harsher, but I also have the magnetic ride control on my car. That really makes up for a lot of it. Now in the front, the tallness of your tires is gonna be basically the same as what you had on stock. I'm running 285, 30, 20. Like I said, the tallness, it's about the same. You don't notice any difference in the front. Now, something that I was concerned about, about switching over to lower profile tires like this is just nicking my rims and stuff, man. So something you guys will notice, and I keep my tires inflated to the proper air all the time. Look at my tire here. You can see just driving into, you know, whether it's curbs, whether it's pulling into the driveway or whatever, my tire is rubbing on the sidewalls. So that's definitely one thing to consider. Not that big of an issue. Like I said, Chevy does it from factory for one LEs and stuff. So you're just fine. I haven't nicked my rims going up driveways or nothing. I've gone in them fast. I've been all good. The biggest problem I face is the scraping. My front lip scrapes on everything. So let's go over my wheels and tires real quick again. I've got 10 inches wide in the front. They're 20 inch rims. These are the MRR FS06 and they're wrapped in 285, 30, 20. I didn't put the stock run flats back on my car. It was just too much money. I wasn't willing to pay that extra money. And in my Mustang, I didn't have a spare tire either because I had a subs in there so I couldn't get my spare tire out. If I'm ever gonna get a flat tire, I'll just get a tow. It is what it is. I've got that AAA. And in the rear, I have 20 inches by 11. Those are wrapped in 305, 30, 20s. I'll put all of the specs and all of that stuff down in the comments down below or maybe in the description if you guys need any of that. Also, don't hesitate to jump in my comments and ask me questions about this stuff. So as you guys can see, I'm out at the mall right now. Where I live, we've actually got two malls that are across the street from each other. Parking lots are empty, you guys. It's crazy with this COVID, but I do see California starting to open back up. So, hey man, I don't know if it's too soon. That's not for me to call it, but regardless, I'm juiced about California opening back up because now I can get more content coming for you guys, man. Like I said, I wanted to do cruises, go to car shows, do all of that stuff. So all of that should be coming to the channel very, very soon. But in the meantime, I still got things planned to do on my car. If you guys been watching my last videos, you guys know I got the Noiko sound deadening. Somebody's saying what's up. So regardless, COVID ain't stopping the hustle. I've got the Noiko sound deadening for my car. I'm gonna be taking out my back seats so that I can replace the six by nine in the back. I'm gonna put the sound deadening on my car. I'm gonna put the sound deadening on all the door panels and everything. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. I'm trying to get as many videos out there as I can. I appreciate everybody subbing. I appreciate everybody rocking with me. But this your boy Whisper Thang, I'm about this thing, baby. Peace.